Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. Start with an equilateral triangle. Construct a row of four congruent equilateral triangles. Connect the leftmost vertex of the first triangle to the top vertex of the fourth triangle. Then consider the region above this line contained within the first three triangles. If a single equilateral triangle has an area equal to six, what is the area of the region shaded in yellow? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To begin, connect a line segment between the top four vertices of these equilateral triangles. Because the equilateral triangles are congruent, corresponding sides will be parallel to each other. Therefore, the large triangle in yellow will be similar to the middle triangle in yellow, and it will be similar to the smallest triangle in yellow. Suppose each equilateral triangle has a side length equal to s. Then this is equal to s, this is equal to s, and this side is also equal to s. Thus, the side lengths will be in parts of three. The middle triangle will have a side length that's equal to two thirds multiplied by s, and the smallest triangle will have a side length that's equal to one third multiplied by s. Now construct one more equilateral triangle. This side length will also be equal to s. The line segments going the other way will be in parts of four. So the largest triangle in yellow will have a side length this way that's equal to three over four multiplied by s, the middle triangle will be equal to 2 over 4 multiplied by s, and the smallest will be 1 over 4 multiplied by s. From here, we will calculate the area of the largest triangle shown in yellow. Now, because each triangle is an equilateral triangle, this will be 60 degrees. So its area will be 1 half multiplied by s multiplied by 3 over 4 multiplied by s multiplied by the sine of the angle between it, which is 60 degrees. Now sine of 60 degrees is equal to the square root of three over two. Thus, this simplifies to be the following. We also have the area of a single equilateral triangle is equal to six, and that's equal to s squared over four multiplied by the square root of three. Thus, we can substitute in six for that part, and we get the area of the large yellow triangle is equal to three over four multiplied by six, which is equal to 4.5. From here, the similarity factor between the largest and the next largest triangle is two over three. So their areas will be in the square of that. So we have 4.5 multiplied by two over three squared. The smallest triangle has a similarity ratio of one over three. So its area will be the square of one over three multiplied by 4.5. We can thus calculate the area of each triangle. Once we do that, we add up these areas and we get the answer is equal to seven. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.